Megan's Academy for Classical Education Charter School isn't included in Bibb County Schools' plans for an upcoming education sales tax, and some school leaders aren't happy about that. In our 13 WMAZ poll, we want to know if you think independent charter schools should get East Bloss dollars. You can go to our app or 13WMAZ.com slash vote to tell us. Pepper Baker spoke to school leaders on both sides about where they think the splossed money should go. Yes, Frank Laurie. Now, when the current East Bloss passed in 2015, ACE was a local charter school, so they were supervised by the Bibb County School District. Now that they're a state charter, they operate a little bit more independently and they receive their funds directly from the state. Now, with Bibb County voting on a new education splot, ACE isn't scheduled to receive any sales tax funds, but whether they should is the question. An overwhelming majority of the parents uh, here at ACE reside in Bibb County, which means their children reside in Bibb County. Steve Norris's children began kindergarten at ACE this year. He wasn't happy to find out that Bibb tax dollars would no longer go towards the school. Now, ACE was on the first ballot. Why are we not good enough to be on the second ballot? Governing Board Chairman Whit Gaither says as long as they serve Bibb County students, they should receive their share. 1,770 kids attend ACE. The vast majority of them are Bibb County school children. All of them are part of the public school program. The fact that it's a commission school instead of a local school, in my humble opinion, is neither here nor there. The child is driving the fact that they should be beneficiaries for this BLOST. Bibb County Superintendent Curtis Jones says the district has a thorough process in deciding where East BLOST money goes. One of the things that we do is go to the Georgia Department of Education. They reviewed all our facilities. They gave us recommendations for what they thought needed to be done. They gave us a prioritization for what that process would look like. We haven't done that with ACE. They have not been included in any of that. Jones says they informed both Cirrus Academy and ACE about what would change once they became state charter schools. I would feel uncomfortable making a recommendation to give monies for a situation that I have not been able to investigate, to be able to say I'm doing it based upon what the needs are. Now, Gaither says ACE received about $1.5 million from the current East Blast. If they get cut out of the next one, they'll have to pull from their general budget to cover costs of maintenance and things like technology upgrades. Now, voters will decide on Tuesday whether to continue the East Blast for another five years starting January 2020. Live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper. The State Department of Education says they have no position or policy on whether charter schools like ACE should get local sales tax money. Again, ACE hasn't always been a state commission charter school. It was originally a local charter school authorized by the Bibb Board of Education. This year, ACE chose to break up with the school district. So starting in July, they answered to the state charter school commission. So what does that mean for the academy? The major difference is how ACE receives its money. They went from receiving about $12 million a year as a locally approved charter to more than $15 million as a state charter. The change allowed students from other counties to apply to the school. That means more state funding. Last year, they received about $7,300 combined for each student from the county and the state. This year, nearly $9,000 per student, all from the state. So they expect to lose a million and a half in splossed money, but they've already picked up $3 million in state money.